Why are you now comfortable um, mm -hmm. serving Sam Adams in cans, and what is kind of the innovation that you've um, you've developed there? Yeah, I've uh, for many years been a purist about not putting Sam Adams in a can because I was concerned about the pickup of metallic tastes mm -hmm. that happens in cans. Um, over the last 10 years, the can manufacturers have done a really good job in uh, coming out with uh, new coatings, water-based coatings that don't have that solvent-y taste. Um, and as a, a couple of years ago, I decided, all right, I think I can get comfortable. Um, I think the linings are okay. I don't think it's going to contact the metal. Sure. Um, and the data proved that. But before I put Sam Adams in a can, again, I wasn't willing to accept just the standard beverage can. So I set to reinventing the beer can around enhancing the flavor of a rich beer like Sam Adams Boston Lager. And it took two years, we went through lots and lots of prototypes, dead ends, um, but at the end of it, we developed a uh, different top of the can than the standard beverage can. It actually uh, is patterned after the top of uh, this perfect pint glass that we developed to enhance the flavor from a glass. So the top of the can flares out right. and you get a, a bigger lid on it with a bigger opening and what that does is sort of forces your mouth open um, so that when you drink uh, from the Sam Adams can you can't chug it, you can't suck it out of there. You I can't chug uh, it? Uh, it's, if you want beer to chug, it ain't Sam Adams. So the Sam Adams can opens up your mouth to the aromas and the complex flavors that you get in a good beer like Sam Adams. And that's a trade-off. You can't chug it. But you can taste it. Got it. And I'll take taste over chug.